Live! Hi folks and welcome to Open Analysis Live AMA where we answer your reverse engineering questions. If you like this kind of stuff, go check out our Patreon. Lots more reverse engineering content there. With that, let's get into it. <laughs> okay, um, so the the way I set this up questions, just questions, yeah, questions, yeah, question exactly. Because <laughs> I didn't explain. By the way, I didn't explain to anybody on here how this works. I just asked them like a couple minutes before <laughs> whether they want to come on. So the way that we're going to do this is I've been asking for questions on Twitter and I've been asking for questions uh, on the Discord and I've also asked people who aren't shy about asking live to uh, join a special room in our Discord. And the way we'll do this is uh, we will at, like, I'll basically go through the questions that are sort of pre, there's a few ones that people ask a lot. So like, you know, how do I get started with reverse engineering? Like that kind of stuff. So what I thought I'd do is I'd ask you guys a couple of those questions uh, first, and then uh, we'll go to our people waiting in the waiting room and anyone who wants to uh, be on voice, you don't have to turn your camera on, will bring you on and you can ask your question live and maybe we can have a little bit more of a discussion. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna work. In the past when we've uh, when we tried these, people have been mostly well behaved. So we will uh, <laughs> we'll give it a shot. <laughs> Please don't get us banned. <laughs> oh, I laugh. So. We'll give it a shot. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much our motto. We'll do it live. Uh, where's my do it live? Let's do it live here. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Okay, so uh, with that, uh, and also I should mention for the chat, everyone in chat, um, if you want a question, just uh, <laughs> think CPP live, exactly. If you, if you have a question, um, just drop it in the chat and uh, maybe highlight it or something so I can see, or if it's the chat's not too busy right now, so it should be fine. Uh, and we will answer your questions, uh, so feel free to ask them. Um, Every question will be answered. Most, most questions <laughs> will be answered. <laughs> <laughs> Rattle, over-promising. All right. Um, yeah. Okay, so I think uh, probably the question that everybody, how do I become the most handsome German? <laughs> All right, all right, Rob. Just do you want to shave your head and grow a beard? <laughs> yeah, I was about. I, I yield the question uh, to Carsten, who uh, who clearly holds the title right now. So um, I'm out. <laughs> all right, come so, on, read us a question. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm so psyched. I will start exactly. So uh, the question that I think everybody wants answered, and I'm sure everybody here doesn't want to answer because you've been asked this a million times before is how do I get started reverse engineering? Wah, wah. <laughs> All right, no, so. <laughs> oh, Rattle so... wants the answer. <laughs> so first I gotta tell the story because I love the story. Uh, I used to be at university and students would always start their question with, I have a stupid question. And I would usually say, there are no stupid questions. There's only stupid students. And then I would wait <laughs> for a moment. And I'd say, that's the ones who don't ask questions to kind of soften the blow but it's a good question i mean it's maybe and and i think it's the reason many people don't want to answer it because is not because it is a stupid question or a dumb but because it's a difficult question it's hard to answer for many of us we don't many of us don't know how we became reverse engineers and in my case specifically i don't think I, there's there's anything that I could point to with my finger and say, yeah, th this is what I did. Like, this is what I did to become a reverse engineer. No, I mean, I became interested in tech at a pretty early age, but that doesn't mean that you have to do it that way because I know plenty of reverse engineers who didn't start at an early age. Um, and then I kind of stuck with it for a while. And well, that was, that was a long time ago when hacking and like, breaking into computers wasn't such a big deal and then it was not about organized crime it was more like a playground and i grew up like in in that age and it was super fun and then i went to study math for 10 years i had like very little contact with tech and then after 10 years of being a career mathematician i said this sucks i don't want to do this anymore and i knew people from various places who were in the industry right now and they basically vouched for me they said you know what? I, I know what you know about computers. I, I know what we I, I know what you know about low level architecture. You'll figure it out. And essentially, they just gave me a job to reverse engineer stuff. And this was the first time that I 
actually did any reverse engineering. But it's at this point when you already know enough about architecture, operating systems, low level concepts, assembly programming, when you, when you know the entire tech stack, essentially, then opening IDA and analyzing a binary isn't really hard anymore because it's just, it's just a little thing that like shows you a disassembly and then it tries to decompile it and it's very intuitive. So I would say to become a reverse engineer, understand the machine, like get, get good at computers. But it's, that's also a terrible answer because it doesn't give you a step-by-step -step list. But that's... Isn't that always the problem? That like the, the true yeah. answer is that it's not... I think a lot of people are asking when they ask that question, they're asking like, how do I get started? What steps should I take? Rather than like the real answer, yep. which is like, I don't really know. <laughs> I just, this, this happened, you know, but, what do you guys but maybe think? somebody has better steps to offer and maybe, maybe somebody on the call has a better answer than me. But I think uh, but what I, what, what I want to say is it's not a stupid question. It's a great question, but it's very difficult to answer because some of us really Kirsten? don't even know. Yeah, it's so difficult to answer because it's, uh requires a lot of um, different skills. So, and you would have to acquire those different skills first, and then you go into reversing. And I think if you have no, um, no background knowledge at all, I would start with programming, actually. It doesn't matter which language, but start with programming. As long as it isn't Java. Sorry, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Java Java fine. No. <laughs> That's not a language. That's... It depends if you want to reverse engineer uh, Java maybe. So. No, he's right. It doesn't matter what language. I'm just, I'm just. Joking. Kirsten loves Java. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people way. start. <laughs> Well, a lot of people started with, you know, Minecraft hacking or Minecraft mods and that's, they got really into Java. And so that's, I know some excellent reverse engineers who started there. So I wouldn't suggest it either as my first choice, but like you can, you can totally do it. Um, I mean, if your goal is to be a, a reverse engineer, right? But so I guess I, I would say two things. One is there are an infinite number of paths, right? Because we've all had slightly unique experiences. And so there's people who were game hacking. There's people who were uh, really good developers, and I think those are probably the best. Somebody who's just a really good developer has spent a lot of time in a debugger doing, an, and then reverse engineering to them is is far more straightforward than I think a lot of people um, have it. Uh, I came into it not being a great developer, but being into security. So I was doing network security and incident response and forensics and penetration testing, and kind of got more into like the like yeah, I would I want to be a cool hacker, like the people actually writing the exploits, and so I kind of started getting into vulnerability research. Um, but it was still not great at reverse engineering. And so, you know, there's there's like these different approaches and they can all kind of get you to the same place with, with different strengths and weaknesses. Um, the thing that I like to send to people who ask me that is there's a great video from Lewis Rossman, who is a YouTuber who does stuff like Apple repair, uh, right to repair stuff. Um, he goes on these rants. Uh, he's, he's really entertaining, but <laughs> he has a fantastic video talking about like being investable. He basically says there's a lot of people that want to help you online, but a lot of people when they come just want, they want to be spoon fed. They want to have somebody just put them on a track and then just like do a thing. And that's not going to get you where you want to go. Like to get where you want to go, if you really want to get good at this, um, like you need to make some effort yourself. You need to like say, okay, what's the next thing I should do? Or what's this next little step? And then you need to go off and do it and take a couple steps. And then you can come back and say, okay, well now what do I do after that? I've done this, this, and this. Not just like every single step you take, you're asking for help. What do I do next? What do I do next? What do I do next? Um, so I think that's a really good like mindset. And honestly, I think that's, sorry, there's a truck driving by, it's noisy, you might pick up. Um, I think that's more important than any particular exact skill or, and you know, CTFs, somebody else mentioned in chat, that's another one. Like I played a lot of CTFs, that was great for me. A lot of people don't like CTFs. So, you know, there's a lot of these different approaches you can take, but the important thing in all of them is that you are, you are balancing asking others for help and then just doing the work yourself. Like you have to kind of go back and forth. You don't want to be all on your own and you don't want to be entirely like, let somebody else just tell you everything to do, so. You did do like CTFs was, where you, you were on like some famous CTFs team, right? Wasn't that, uh, am I right about that? Yeah, I mean, I won, I won DEF CON CTF three Yeah, times. I was right. Um, yeah, I was right about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, again, I get smart friends, right? Uh, I don't know if my black badges are where they're at. But um, like, I was okay. I worked, I was with a lot of good people and I, you know, yeah. contributed, but. He's so modest. Um, it's, it's like, it's terrible. You're so modest. 
Yeah, it's kind of. I difficult. know. <laughs> I I'm very comfortable with what I'm good at and what I'm not. I'm I'm a good presenter. I'm I'm good, decent with with reversing and exploiting and all that stuff. But I've worked with really good people, so like I don't I don't need to be great at everything. That's I, I'm okay with that. Uh, and, and like I do think like having good people to work with is another part of it too, right? So that was the thing about like CTFs. A lot of people try to play CTFs like just by themselves, and that's no fun. Like I I mean some people can do it, but to me it was all about sitting down with somebody else, like brainstorming together, solving things together, racing other people, like just doing it as a group. Uh, I think that applies to a lot of things. Like even RE, a lot of like the, um, you know, there's like secret club, there's these like cracking groups, all these other different things. Those are where people get really good, right? Not when they're just kind of off on their own doing something. I will mention that I'm the complete opposite and I enjoy just sitting over something and brooding over it all on my own and not having anyone distract me. So. I, I think that's a personality thing, and but it's important to figure out which one you are because I know many people who thrive extremely well on doing exactly what you just described, like bouncing ideas back and forth. And um, and there's fewer people like me who, and I'm not saying I never want to do this. There's It's certainly important and I couldn't have gotten anywhere if I hadn't at some points had people to bounce ideas off of. But um, I just want to say to anyone in the chat who is like a... a a nitty gritty introvert. introvert like me, yeah, yeah. then uh, it's okay too. You can, you can, you can probably have a career in infosec as well. I'm the same as well. But <laughs> 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 well, that's also why I say CTF isn't for everybody too, right? A lot of people are like, oh, you have to do CTFs. And it's like, no, you don't. Like, I, I loved it, but not everybody does, and that's totally okay. Some people are like, this is fake. I want to do something real. They just can't get motivated, and that's totally fine. I in my CTF case, it's a regret. So <laughs> I. I would have loved to have done more CTFs, but um, I think that like the whole CTF hype and like doing CTFs fell squarely <laughs> into my math studies. It was just a thing that passed me by completely. So be because everybody mentioned it, I also consider myself going more the dev route. I certainly learned to program in a lot of languages way before I reversed them. It's, uh... Starting with, um, this is, it's not a well-kept secret, but it's a moderately well-kept secret. My first language was Visual Basic. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah, just in terms I'm of like actual basic, G GW Basic. Well, you're, you're a few Q years basic. ahead of me. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. My <laughs> first language was Casio Basic. This was uh, the this calculator you got in school because I had no computer. Wow. Nice. <laughs> okay, so oh, this so is for the one, chip. One simple thing real quick, real quick though, for the like beginning steps, and you, you guys both mentioned this, I think, with being a developer. The one practical advice I do give people is write a piece of code, compile it, change the, com uh, then disassemble it or decompile it. Uh, change the, the disassembly setting. Oh, and, and don't start with the decompiler too. Do just look at disassembly, build a little function, write a little admin of code, write a little simple basic, do something in, in a native language, compile it, and then change a compiler flag, do it again build a different thing do it again like that's probably the best practical like very beginning step that i do recommend people do yeah i never did that but i also consider this very helpful this uh, um it it took a while for me to realize that was the right way to do things i can tell you <laughs> I, I didn't do it either just, but i should have yeah <laughs> i always tell people it's funny i always tell people to do things that i just didn't do because I feel like the way that I did things is probably not the most efficient. <laughs> but then who knows? Like, maybe that is the right way to do it. Maybe the right way to do it is just, like, you literally bang your head against it until you figure it out, and then that's it. I mean, I don't know. There's a... that's a, Yeah, that's a... Um, we, we shouldn't go too high level, I think, but this is something that you will often hear from people who are self-taught. They will tell you, uh, there's... There's no no good way to learn it. You just you just have to do. It. You just have to you just have to do it and go through the same pain that I went through. And this is this is the negative version of survivorship bias because no, yeah. you can design a better curriculum for things. Yeah. It's possible. It just takes time and mankind maybe the oh, sorry. I have to I have to one one moment. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Mid, yes, yes. mid rant. I will be. I, I will. I will be back in just a second. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> spicy! All right, what do Not you guys think is happening? <laughs> what do you guys think is happening over there? Vote in the take, chat. Take your freaking bets over there. Getting trouble? Is it? Uh... <laughs> yeah. Food, food. Um, 
Actually, what time of day is it too? There? Yeah, it's what time is it, Karsten, in, in Germany? Is it late? It's eight. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's probably food. <laughs> Naked apron meal. Uh, I don't know what that must have. <laughs> okay. Um, so we have more questions. We can move on uh, as uh, as Rattle is uh, getting his naked oh, apron. Oh, like one one other little bit, a bit too. Yeah. On like the like, just do it yourself. Ask other people. The most important thing in in any new skill, anything you want to do, is uh, do things that make you want to keep doing it more. Right. So if, yeah. for example, you like grinding, then grind. If if you don't, then then do something else. There was a weird thing I read about, like The Rock was talking about, like how do you get into the gym and get in the habit of going to the gym every day. He's like, the first time I went to the gym, I tell people just get a magazine to hang out, like make friends. He's like, don't you want to make it a positive experience? You want to make it something that you want to keep doing. And some people are okay, like just putting their heads down and constantly grinding. And other people, that's so painful that they stop and they never do it again. Right. So you need to know like how you're going to respond the best. Like, do you like a good challenge? Um, then great challenge yourself. Uh, but like you j literally just keep doing it is the biggest secret to success What and in, in life and anything. Right. Like put the time in reversing Rubik's cubing, like whatever it is, like you just got to do it more and more and more. And there's less efficient, there's more efficient, but even less efficient wins in the long run if you keep doing it over a longer period of time. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point, and something that we oh, always say for people learning how to uh, reverse engineer is, I'm always telling people don't just pick up the assembly <laughs> manual and try and read it because you'll just give up. Like it's better to have a project that you're working on. Like we, all right, I'm gonna say this. Don't 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 join our Discord, guys. Um, if you're if you want to hack a game and you're like really invested in it. Um, there's a chance that you'll probably learn some reverse engineering along the way if you're really motivated to uh, get those headshots uh, on those noobs. Uh, so basically, uh, pick a project that's even if it seems like it's difficult and then uh, chip away at it and you'll learn reverse engineering along the way basically, rather than having some sort of like, do this, crack me, now do this, crack me. Uh, yeah, clipped. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Thomas. <laughs> But yeah, that's yeah, but like uh, that's what matters is what, what matters is that you're motivated to do it, right? That you want to do it. And you can and yeah. you can game cheat legally too, right? Like there's there's things out there. There's there's Pony Venture, a game that we actually built several years ago that's designed to be cheated at, right? Like there's there's ways that you can do it like ethically, but still cheat, if that makes sense. Yeah. I, that's not the Yeah, Red is still that. alive. I'm back. I'm back. No, my uh, I ordered food, I ordered dinner. Ah! It should have arrived like an hour ago and they were late. And uh, it. <laughs> my partner was like, it's, it's your food. And I heard from her voice that she was like, and you didn't order anything from me because she's, <laughs> she's hungry at this time. What she doesn't know or what she didn't know at the time is I ordered specifically for her. So I just, uh, just bonus points. Some, yeah, I just got some bonus points when that un unraveled. So I'm in a good mood now. Continue, please. What did you get? Sorry. Oh, yeah, done. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. What did I get? Sorry, it's Greek. It's Greek food. Moussaka. Moussaka. Nice. Moussaka. Oh, you, you say Moussaka? Yeah, with my Canadian accent. <laughs> now I wonder right. how hey. it's pronounced in, in Greece. Like, properly. Not like I'm pronouncing it. Guaranteed. <laughs> What's going on, Russian Panda? All right. So... Uh, we were just wrapping up when you joined back, Rattle. Uh, I don't know if anybody has anything else to say on the topic. So that wraps it up. Big thanks to our panel of experts. You can go check out their socials here. Thank you very much. And if you guys want to see more reverse engineering content like this, in-depth tutorials, live streams, your questions answered, go check out our Patreon. Lots more stuff like that there. And stay tuned for the next question.